Hello guys, what's up? Richard here. Today I have here on the channel my friend Julia from Inglês com Julia. Julia, thanks so much for being here on my channel again. Thank you, Richard. Hello guys, how are you? And guys, as you guys have enjoyed our last video, I brought her here again and I'd like to play with her that game that you guys know. Play questions, questions in English. So, Julia, I have here five questions and I'm going to choose them randomly. So, I'm going to see here the questions and we both have to answer them, okay? Okay, let's okay. start. But before that, I'd like to ask you to, to say a little bit about your Instagram, your plans. Okay, I am a private teacher here in Brazil, an English private teacher. I do online classes at Zoom for Portuguese speakers, or if you speak Italian, come on, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> and on my Instagram, I post tips of how to learn and how to speak uh, English expressions about, I like so much of English pronunciation, posting videos of English pronunciation. So if you speak Portuguese or if you understand Portuguese and want to see my Instagram is arroba inglês com Julia. That's awesome. And guys, I'm not gonna tell you guys right now, but we are planning on making a class together. So stay tuned here on the channel and you guys are gonna see it. So Julia, Let's get started. So I'm going to pick the first question up. Let's go. Okay, that's great. How do you think computers have changed the world? Oh. Computers in, gener in generally speaking, like uh, robots or just computers like my laptop I would say like for example how the computers have improved the education system and how to learn new things like that I think that is a, a mix of computers with internet and I don't know um, people that like to spread information spread education in the past, we didn't have it. I remember when I was a kid and I had to do some research, I had to go to the library of my school and do the search. And I'm not that old, I'm only 22, but I had to do this because we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have computers. So we had to check on books. That is a trustable place. And now, Anyone can check on something, anyone can learn something, not like always in a good way because we have things that are wrong and are on the internet and are on the computer. But I think it's, uh, if we think it's more a positive thing than a negative thing. So I, I salute computers. <laughs> I salute internet because it's a good thing. And yes. we are here now because we have computers and internet. I can work online with people because I have a computer, I have internet and my cell phone. So it's a good way to learn. I'm so grateful for computers and internet to exist. That's awesome. I totally agree with you, especially because I am 23. You said you were 22, right? Years old. And that's awesome because when I was at school, before the, the high school, it was hard to, to have a computer at home because it was so expensive to have computer as well as internet. internet. <laughs> and it was so expensive. But when the computers, uh, you know, have beco had become common, I could learn so many things. I could tell that it's so easier to look for information 
and like just like you, we had to go to the library, you know, to to search the information through books. It was, it took so much time. But right now, oh, I have a question. What's the difference between these things? And I can just search it on Google, and it's so fast. So internet is really awesome today. So we can learn anything today, right? So yes. That's awesome. I can't imagine living without internet nowadays. It's so. I think we are. It's so internalized in us right now. <laughs> yes. And that's cool. That's so interesting that you said also that as you work online, it uh, it have been helping us to also have jobs, to have more students, to study with us. So. It affects so many things in a positive way. So yeah, internet is really cool. It have it has changed the world in a positive way for sure. We have to be careful. There are so many wrong information, but you know, other than that, internet is so cool. I totally agree with you. Let me see the second question, Judith. Okay. When you started studying English. Did you learn better by yourself or when you was at the English school? I started learning English when I was 14, so 2012. Oh. And I studied at a private course. I always studied by myself, always, 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 and it was not, oh, I'm going to sit here and study. If you guys watched the previous video <laughs> that I am now, I am there, I'm talking about how I learned English and how I became a teacher. So, watch my video, please. Uh, watch out. our video, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, this answer is on that video. <laughs> Go there and watch it. But I'm going to give you some tips. So, <laughs> uh, I started studying at this regular school, English school, but I always studied by myself. So, when I think about, um, I don't know, present perfect, I don't know if I first learned at this school or I first learned by myself, but I know it's a mixture. Okay, if I, I have like um, the beginning of my learning is totally, totally, totally because of the school, totally. But after that is a mixture, but I praise myself and I know that it's most because of me than because of the school. So it's like, it's a mixture because if I didn't have the start, the first pace, I won't be here today. I would yeah. not be here today. Mm, that's so, so good. 20% is cool, 80% me. I see. That's awesome. About change. you. My experience is just like yours. I started studying at school, as everybody here in Brazil. And as always, I didn't learn anything at school, just the verb to be, but I, I was not able to pronounce it and to speak about it correctly. So in 2017, I decided to study at Wizard. And there I could learn so many things, so many good things about the basic grammar, how to make sentences in the present perfect, in the past, in the future. After, right after learning those things, I decided to start on Cambly and study with only with them because to maintain both is so expensive, so I could not afford that. And but since then, I've been studying by myself, and I actually I like it. I I've always been a person who likes to to study, you know, by by themselves, and I think. When we have a method, when we understand how we learn, 
it's so beneficial because we can really take advantage of that and learn through it. So right now I know how I, how I learn. So I usually watch TV shows, carefully, you know, I pay attention to what the characters are saying. I also read books. I try to, when I see new words, I try to look them up on the internet. And it's so great. It helps me a lot to increase my vocabulary. Sometimes I use words when I'm speaking with somebody. I use words that I, I didn't even think about it, you know. And that's awesome. When we study a lot, when we, we listen to the language a lot, sometimes we, we're going to be able to use words that we didn't study before. That's really awesome. So, yeah, I, but answering the question, I, I like studying by myself. I think it's really awesome to have a tutor to, to be alongside with you and to help you with your questions. And you're going to learn faster if you have a teacher. I totally agree with that. But you don't have to be... You, you have to study by yourself as well. Because if you study, okay, two hours or three hours at some school, but you have to... When you get at home, try to read something, try to listen to things in English. Do whatever you can to keep practicing, to keep studying. Because English, it's a... In my opinion, I think a language, we have to use it every day. We have to live the language. Just that way, we're going to be able to speak naturally, confidently. So that's what I think. I totally agree. That's cool. And okay, let, let's see the next question. Oh, that's awesome. I love this video. <laughs> it's so great. We to... are talking so much. Yeah, we are going beyond the questions. We are going to express ourselves differently. That's cool. Okay. Okay, it's a, an easy one. So, what time do you usually study English? So, it's an English, an easy question. Mm. What time do you study English? Do you still study English? Of course, every day. <laughs> <laughs> I said in the mornings, but like that regular study to sit on a chair take my books and study but in the mornings but i listen to english music every day i watch series i watch videos all the time most of them in english and my portuguese is going down because of it because <laughs> <laughs> or it's english or it's italian never portuguese so <laughs> Houston, we have a problem here. <laughs> it's true. My part is going down. And so it's a way of studying too, not a formal study, but a formal study, but it's a study. It's okay. in you. That's awesome. I yeah, during this pandemic, I've been studying in the mornings because I think when I write when I wake up I am more active, so I can learn things more easily, I think, in my case. So when I wake up, I usually, the first thing that I study in the morning, I read the news. There is a great website called Ingu, ingu.com. I think you know that. Do you? No, I don't. It's a great website. I'm going to leave it here in the description of the video. Spell it for me, please. It's E-N-G-O-O, -O, ingo.com. Mm. You, can, you, can you. you can search for ingo.com daily news. So it's really great, that website, because they, they categorize the, the news according to the level. So it's really awesome. So there is a lot. There are a lot of texts, you know, intermediate, advanced, proficient. <laughs> and like this, I know news and levels. Yeah, really? Yes, there is a website called News and Levels, and you read the same news on different levels, uh, like basic, intermediate, and advanced. I use this one. Ah, uh, that's awesome, and. Most of the teachers on Cambly recommend Ingo, you know, to study with. And that's cool. That's cool. So I read the news. 
uh, after that I usually listen to something you know I usually listen to songs or sometimes I listen to TV shows I don't have uh, an organized schedule to study right now <laughs> I used I used to have a, a, a organized schedule before, but right now I just, as I said, I just leave the language. I I study, I do what I what I feel like, you know, to improve my English. I don't feel like oh I have to read the grammar books. I have to study this. No, I I feel like oh, today I'd like to to watch a TV show, so I do it. I would like to listen to songs, so I do it. So I just do to I enjoy the language. Oh, <laughs> and, okay. But, something that you don't have a a book, but you have a way, you have a path. It's okay. Yeah, path. <laughs> don't forget but, that I'm a teacher. I'm analyzing everything you say. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be careful right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and but I study in the morning. I think in the morning is great, but I usually take Cambridge classes at night. Because I think when we study English and go to bed right after, we can, you know, you know, maintain the the words. I think. <laughs> but in the morning, answer the question. Okay, next question. Uh, okay, that's a good one. Do you get nervous or excited when you have to speak in public? That's especially for you because you are a teacher. Do you get okay. nervous or excited when you speak in public? It depends. If I am the teacher, I get very excited. But if I have to do a presentation, I get very, 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 very nervous. It's like if I am in front of a lot of people to teach, it's like I'm having. But if I'm in front of the same people, to make a presentation, like a slides presentation or something like that, I just stop, my brain stops and I get nervous. I don't know why. But I, so the answer is both. It depends on the way I'm speaking in public. Like I think if someday I, I would be, choose to make a speech, mm, no, it would be like, uh -huh. <laughs> like the paper of the speech, and I'm like, no, no, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> you know, in my case, I'm used to speaking in public. I've always spoken in public, especially, you know, at school or when I was in college. But I always get nervous because we are in front of a lot of people, and I. I, I feel afraid, you know, of making mistakes, which is normal, which, which is silly, because everybody makes mistakes. But, you know, I always prepare you know, myself before giving a presentation. It's, I think, is the most important thing. So, I always get nervous, but as long as I have the, the resources, I have the knowledge to give the presentation, I really do it so it's normal to be nervous but if i'm prepared i i do it and everything is great <laughs> and you know i have been studying more english to give presentations in english i think that's really hard yes it's, it's, because imagine you know being in front of a lot of people and speaking in you know, all the language it's not oh my gosh i can't even imagine you know that <laughs> Let me see the last question. So, okay. What kind of car would you like to have? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's not a Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. This is not <laughs> a Ferrari. Full stop. Period. <laughs> This is a great question when we are big, uh, big, because I have a reason. I don't have a driver's license. I don't like to drive. I like to walk. I like to um, take the bus. I know it's strange, but I like to. <laughs> and I don't have a driver's license because my city is small, so we don't need to like take long walks. 
But if one day I have money to buy a car, I really, really want a Ferrari, a red one or a black one. Because why? Because when I was, I don't know, 14, 30 years old, I watched a documentary about the how a Ferrari is done. And I was like, oh my God, this car is amazing. The way they the works on the documentary maybe it's not true because we live in a world a world that okay they say something but it's not true but the way they treat workers and the way that they think about the car they treat the the car itself it's amazing i got in love so i want a ferrari <laughs> i i hope i won't die without driving one i don't need to have one but i really want to drive one that's awesome. So I have to have my driver's license. That's great. I'd like to have a Lamborghini. <laughs> we are all shit people. All yeah, yeah. Shit people. You know, we are talking about our dreams, right? Everybody <laughs> can dream, right? <laughs> but I, I, I have a, a driving drives license, and right now I have a motorcycle. I have been riding a motorcycle for four years. Before buying my motorcycle, I didn't like it. You know, I, I always I always thought, oh my gosh, I can fall off. <laughs> and but when, when I experienced that, I feel that I made the best choice because it's really great to go to work when I when I had to go to college, to go to college, it was so faster. And but I'd like to have a Lamborghini because I think it's so stylish. <laughs> but, so fashion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's really awesome. I lo love cars. I love cars more than I love motorcycles. I prefer motorcycles. Really? You do? Yeah, I love motorcycles. I don't know if it's because since I was a kid, yes, I know it's wrong, but since I was a kid, I used to be on motorcycles because my father likes them he doesn't have one now but he always he's he used to have one and it's like freedom i feel free on when i am in a motorcycle i don't know why but it's like you know uh rose and, and jack on titanic like oh uh, yeah <laughs> i, I do. feel free so free <laughs> I, aren't I you afraid city. of falling off? <laughs> no, if I fall, I will fall on the ground. I won't die. <laughs> okay, I will wear a helmet so everything will be all right. Yeah, that's everybody awesome. who falls stand ups. Exactly, don't give up, right? <laughs> that's awesome. But well, thank you so much, Julia, for being here on my channel. I loved this video again. Thank you so much for inviting me and inviting me for this very funny video. <laughs> yeah, it was a great video and as as the guys know, we're going to work on our project. It's a mystery right now. We're, we're not going to tell them, but <laughs> right? But yeah. it will be really great. But thanks so much guys for watching this video. Please follow Julia on her Instagram. Her Instagram will be in the description below. And guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a message in the comment section below. Thanks so much for being watching our videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Julia, bye guys. Bye bye.